guys, it's Paige, and today I'm doing another quick thoughts cheer video. Sorry for the awkward, like, angle and stuff. I have this really ugly bun on top of my head, and I don't want to show it in the video, but I want to have my hair up, and sorry for the messy background. I'm, um, in the middle of packing for college, but you're going to see this video when I'm in college, so <laughs> anyway. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about high school versus all-star cheer. Now, this is kind of a controversial topic for some cheerleaders because um, a lot of people might say, oh, well, competitive cheerleading, all-star cheerleading is a sport, but high school isn't. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about my thoughts, and since I've done both high school and all-star cheerleading, I have, you know, both sides of the argument. So some differences between them. Um, high school normally cheers for games. As a high school cheerleader, I cheered for football, girls volleyball, um, basketball, both boys and girls. So those are like the sports that we cheered for. That was our main focus. High school teams can compete. Um, normally at the state level you can go to nationals as well, like NCAA nationals for high school. Um, but I competed for two years with my high school. You can compete in tumbling or non-tumbling division. So that's something that's really different between all-star and high school because in high school, like, I always competed in the non-tumbling division, my um, team did, and then in All-Star, everybody tumbles. Hooray! There's some restrictions for high school competitive cheer, though. You can't do double downs, and you can't do, like, just some certain different stunts and stuff. I don't know the exact rules, but I just know that we weren't allowed to do some stuff for our competitive team. Now, um, high school competitive teams obviously can't go to Worlds, and they don't normally go to the typical all-star competitions because they have separate high school competitions. If you're in high school competitive cheerleading, like, props to you, because that is so hard. You are on a dead mat. A dead mat, people. Tumbling, maybe not tumbling, stunting, all that stuff, and it's really hard. Like, jumping on dead mat? Ugh, I hate that. I did it. My jumps were a lot better than in All-Stars because I had to actually practice my jumps on a dead mat. Yeah, those are like just some of the differences. Like, if you watch some of like the UCA and NCA national high school competitions, those are some intense teams. Like, my team was never as good as that. Um, I mean, we got third my junior year, and then I didn't do it my senior year, but we got third at state, which is pretty good, I'd say, especially because it was only our second um, year as a team. But high school cheer, like for competitive cheer, they can be intense. And that is more of the sports side to me. Now, cheering on the sidelines, eh. If you think it's a sport, that's awesome. Like, I did that my freshman year, and it was intense for me just because we stunted a lot and all that stuff. But I wouldn't necessarily say, like, the sideline part of it was the sport. Um, and then All-Star, you have six different levels. Um, level six is normally like the college level, but there are like international open six, like all-girl level six teams. Um, but there are levels one through five and then level six. It is only competitive cheer. There's no cheering for any teams. And it is, I feel like it's more expensive. Now, don't quote me on this. If you have to pay a lot of money for your cheer, your high school cheer, then, you know, I'm not discrediting you. I had to pay, you know, a pretty good amount for high school cheer, but normally competitive cheer is a little bit more expensive because you go to a lot more competitions um, with All-Star and you travel a lot. There's a lot of practice time. Um, I was in the gym like five days a week doing tumbling classes and all that stuff and, you know, tumbling classes and like stunt classes and all that stuff aren't normally required for high school cheer. And I'd say the stunts are really a little bit more intense than high school stunts now. The ones that like win nationals and stuff, they are intense as well. They do the TikToks and all that stuff. But, um, you know, like where I'm from, um, in our state, like our state competitions were not as intense at all. Like the stunts just weren't up to that caliber that All-Star is. But then again, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, cheerleading isn't as big of a deal as it is in the South and, you know, just on the East Coast. And one of the biggest differences is in All-Star, you get a spring floor. Spring floor. Oh, spring floor is the best thing ever. If you are a high school cheerleader and you've never, like, tumbled on a spring floor or jumped 
or stunted, like you need to go to your local all-star gym and just check it out because spring floor is like the best. High school and all-star both have their benefits and their um, disadvantages and all that stuff, but I liked both of them. Like they're, I couldn't really choose one over the other because they're two completely different experiences and you know, obviously I'm pitting them against each other, but it's not really fair to do that because <laughs> they're completely different, you know, activities and um, even though like competitive high school is a lot like all-star, it still is different. I mean, the uniforms are different, all that stuff. I mean, personally, I like all-star uniforms because I gotta wear a half top. Have to. Those are just some quick thoughts, just me explaining the difference and, you know, what I think about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it helped you um, understand the difference between them a little bit more. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, I definitely recommend that you subscribe to this channel if you want to keep up with my videos, if you want to see more of my makeup videos or my cheer videos, then being subscribed is a great way to do that. Plus, it helps me out a lot and then we can be friends. Yeah. Ignore my weirdness. Alright, so I think that is all, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!